Hello everybody and welcome to Pinboard. Pinboard is a multi-user note-taking system. Let me show you how it works. Go ahead and launch Google Chrome. From here, go ahead and click on Apps. And then the store. Go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see 4ccsnights.org. This application is just for our school. Here it is right here, Pinboard. Go ahead and click on it. Oh, pulls up what it looks like. And you can click up here where it says free to install it. Add Pinboard? Sure. Now you see, Pinboard has been added to both my Chrome App Launcher and also if you look over in the Apps tab over here under Google Chrome, the Apps over here also. There it is. Let's go ahead and launch Pinboard. The first thing it's going to ask you is for authorization. Continue. And this is everything it's going to ask for your authorization to do. You can go ahead and read that when you go through this. Accept. And here it is. Install Pinboard. This is going to install Pinboard to your Google Drive account. Add itself to Google Drive. Sure. Pinboard has been installed. Wonderful. We can now access Pinboard from two different locations. You can either access it from the Chrome app found either in your app launcher or in the app store that I showed you. Apps. You can launch it from there or you can launch it straight from Google Drive. Let's go to Google, Google Drive first. Here in Google Drive, you can click Create. And here it is, Pinboard, with a nice little icon. You can click on Pinboard here. A new Pinboard has been created, and it can be found in your My Drive folder. That's your root folder. And here it is. New Pinboard. Let's click on it and open up. Well, as a new Pinboard, there's nothing really here. So let's give it a name. Tech Office Notes. Now if we look down in our drive, you'll see it's been renamed, Tech Office Notes. There are some other ones here that don't need to worry about those. So now you can add a new note. And there's your first new note. On your note you can see both who created it and the, the delete button if you don't want to see this note anymore. You also have the option of working with lists. You can click on this button here, the new item, and you can give it a title. Let's see, we need to wake up, brush teeth, Go to school. Wonderful. We can also change the color of our notes. There's a couple of predefined colors right here. Or, if you're using Google Chrome, you have this other option here where it says other. And you can make it whatever color you want. I like red.
Now with your list, as you go through the day, you can check off things. I've woken up. I've gone to school. Oh man, I think I forgot to brush my teeth. We'll try again tomorrow. You also have the option of uploading photos to share a photo with somebody. Say a screenshot or uh, maybe an image that you've been working on that you want to share with another teacher. Right here is the image button. You go ahead and click on that. You can click choose file. Let's see. Well, that looks like a good pic picture. Looks like a little gear. Let's open that. The file has now been uploaded to your Google Drive account and is linked here in notes. So let's give it a good color. Let's give it yellow and hit done. Well, there it is. There's your new image and the color yellow. You may have noticed there is a bug. Don't worry, there's going to be plenty of them as I've written the software myself. Working on bugs is a daily task and I will keep at it. So if you ever come across any problems, let me know. And in this view, you can always click on the image. And I'll show you a full, kind of, full screenshot of what it kind of looks like. Now, because this lives in Google Drive, you have all the features that Google Drive documents have, such as sharing. I can click on my Tech Office Notes, click up Share, and add and share it with somebody. Let's see. Let's share it with Mrs. Rousen. Now you see that Mrs. Rossum has been added as an editor. Now she can open up this same pin board that we're working on and we can work on this collaboratively. Collaboratively. She can add photos, lists, and notes. And I'll see the ones that she adds by her icon down here at the bottom. You also can get quick access to all the pin boards that you have and that are any that are shared with you. Under You can either go under the Chrome App Launcher and click on Pin Board or in, under Google Chrome, click on Apps and click on Pin Board. It's going to show you all the different pin boards that you are you have access to so we can click on let's click on this one new tech task list you also have the ability to create a new one from the same icon from the same page that is and there's a new tech task list task list that I opened from that view. There's going to be a few bugs and there's going to be new features. If there's something that you can, that you think of that you would like to include in this, let me know. Alright, thank you very much.